Hi. In this video, we're going to discuss how to set up SNMP traps. We're going to set them up on an SNMP monitor device, on an agent device, and a networking device. So to start, let's pick the device that we want to set up traps for. We're going to choose this .130 machine, and we want to configure the SNMP service to send traps to the agent that is monitoring this device, and that's going to be unpatched too. So we need to remote into the system and configure traps, which I already have open. And we can see here we have the services open. I'm going to right click on SNMP service and make sure that my traps tab is configured correctly with the right community string as well as the IP address of the agent that is monitoring it. Now if this were an agent device, we would go ahead and just put localhost in here or the IP address of this system itself because it's an agent and it's monitoring itself. I can see that this is configured correctly, so I'm just going to click on OK. If you're doing this for the first time, I recommend that you stop and restart the service once you're done configuring it. Also, I've downloaded a trap generator that will generate traps so that I can make sure that I'm actually able to see them from within the studio. So I'm going to go ahead and generate a few traps here, and that should be enough. I'm going to go back to my studio now and if everything is configured correctly and working I should see SNMP traps appear in device details on the left hand pane. And we can see that I was able to successfully generate them and receive them as well from within the studio. So now we're going to go back and choose a networking device to configure. And we're going to go ahead and choose this dot .246 device, which is an ASA, Cisco. And we basically need to get into this device and make sure that the configuration shows that traps are enabled and we're sending to the right IP, which again is going to be the same IP address of that agent that is monitoring this system. So I've got the running configuration up, and for this specific model, there are two commands that we need. We need this SNMP server host inside with the IP address of the agent with a community string of public. And we also need to let this device know which traps we're going to be sending. So we can see that we've got four different types, authentication, link up, link down, and cold start. Now please check with your vendor to make sure that you have the appropriate commands or configuration lines that are needed to get your device to send traps appropriately. Once that's been done, I should again be able to double click on device details and see on the left hand side SNMP traps appear. And there we see them. Also, to get friendly descriptions for the traps, please go to administration and download the SNMP MIB library and let it install. This will allow the OIDs to be referenced with friendly descriptions so that you have a better understanding for what they're referencing. And lastly, if you are having any issues or not receiving traps, please check the following. If you run this command on the agent machine, <coughs> netstat space hyphen a N O P U D P we need to be listening on port 162 which I know right now is the process ID so if I go into task manager I can see that 3288 is listening on port 162 which is what we need if any other process is linked to this port then that could be the reason why you're not able to receive traps so I just wanted you to be aware of that And that is pretty much it for traps. Thank you very much. Please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks.